Hello Figment, I'm Chris Wilson. In this video, we'll go over what staking is, why staking is the future of blockchain, and the risks versus rewards involved with proof of stake. To fully understand the advantages of staking, we should first look at its predecessor, proof of work. Proof of work is a blockchain algorithm that many popular networks like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Zcash are built on. Proof of stake is highly decentralized and secure, where miners compete to produce new blocks. This race for blocks is executed using computer power. In return for this computing power, the miner whose servers find a correct hash first receives the block. Thus, the proof of work mining and validation system is both hardware and power intensive. Along with this, proof of work excludes token holders from participation in rewards and decisions about network evolution. With proof of work, token holders' returns are primarily based on token price and the market in general. Investors may believe in these networks, but they do not earn any rewards from holding these tokens. So how does this compare with proof of stake? On proof of stake blockchains like Polkadot, Cosmos, Celo, Solana, and many others, token holders essentially lend or delegate tokens to a validator. Validators get elected from the active set based on probability and the amount of stake that token holders have delegated to them. Being elected allows validators and those who have staked their tokens to earn and share rewards and transaction fees. Through this process called staking, token holders can delegate tokens to these validators. In return, token holders or stakers are compensated for securing their tokens on the network, overall providing infrastructure and security. On top of this, proof of stake protocols allow token holders to make decisions about network evolution through a process known as governance. When you compare them side by side, there are a couple of similarities between proof of work and proof of stake. They are both highly decentralized and secure. However, when it comes to the differences, proof of work is very power intensive, expensive for miners, and does not allow network participants to participate in governance easily. On the other hand, the process is much less power intensive and significantly cheaper than proof of work with proof of stake. Proof of stake allows network participants to actively have a say in governance and the future of the network. Along with governance, the most significant difference overall is that validators and delegators on proof-of-stake networks receive reward incentives for storing their tokens and securing the network. Now that we have a basic understanding of proof-of-stake blockchains, the biggest question is why stake tokens? Let's go ahead and jump into that by learning more about the overall process, rewards in general, and governance. To talk about staking, let's first take a step back and look at the overall process. Your staking provider goes through a couple of steps on the back end until you can delegate to them. First, a staking provider will create a validator node that uses dedicated server space running network specific software. A staking provider will then connect this node to the network to participate in running the network. Next, token holders can delegate their tokens to this validator. And when there have been enough delegations, the validator will join the active set of validators and start earning rewards. As long as the validators remain in the active set, delegators will receive rewards. As a general note, your validators typically will charge a commission fee for the services provided. An average commission rate is roughly 7 to 10%. It's important to keep in mind this is a general process, and it can always vary from protocol to protocol. Staking rewards are an integral part of the staking process. When token holders delegate their tokens through a validator, their stake is eligible for rewards. While the average reward rate varies depending on the network, the average mature protocol reward rate is usually between 5 and 20%. Thus, staking tokens allows token holders to become active network participants by receiving new issuances and fees generated from the network. With earning rewards, there are three fundamental mechanisms to understand. Claiming rewards, redelegation, and unbinding periods. With some protocols, the protocol will pay rewards directly into your wallet that you can transfer. These are liquid rewards. Some protocols require delegators to claim their rewards. To claim rewards, you'll have to go to a UX interface and click a button to receive the rewards you've earned. 
Some protocols automatically restake your rewards for you, so you don't have to claim them or go through the process of redelegating to your favorite validator. When users claim rewards, they have the option to redelegate these liquid tokens to a validator, increase their stake, and in turn, potentially increase their rewards payout. Something to keep in mind with rewards includes reporting and tracking rewards because it may be essential when filing taxes. We will share more on that point later on how our service, Figment Prime, can help with that. When users decide that they want to claim these tokens back from a validator, they can unbond the tokens. Unlocking your tokens can take a specific amount of time to do, anywhere from instant to a couple of hours to several weeks. But not always, as protocols have different epoch durations. For example, Celo has a three day unlocking, and Mina doesn't lock your tokens at all. Along with staking rewards, another significant benefit of delegating tokens is governance activity. Overall, governance is a decentralized process where users can influence how a network is fundamentally changing. As a result, governance processes can have considerable implications on the token's network health and value. With governance proposals, a network or network community will propose a change or update to the protocol. There will typically be a set period for token holders to read the proposal, discuss it with the community, and vote. After that, there is a threshold for yes, no, and abstaining votes. Finally, if the process receives enough yes votes to pass through or meets a quorum of votes, it will go into action on the network. Depending on the token, users have a say on governance decisions for networks even when delegating through a validator. Therefore, it's essential to keep up to date on network governance proposals and participate. Now that we've learned some about staking and the staking process, let's dive into some of the risks involved with staking. Overall, one thing to keep in mind is that staking rewards are dependent on validator performance. Slashing is an event where the validator forfeits a defined portion of staked tokens. These tokens are then burned, redistributed to other stakeholders, or sent to the treasury. Two main actions that may trigger this are downtime and double signing. Most proof-of-stake, or POS networks, have a combination of slashing parameters and varying degrees of severity. Downtime depends on the liveness of the validator. If the node is not signing transactions for X amount of time, where X varies depending on the network parameters, it will be considered inactive and will lose out on block rewards. After a certain amount of time has gone by while idle, the validator might also be slashed, resulting in a permanent loss of stake and the potential suspension from the validator set. Slashing can happen when a node's cloud infrastructure goes down or if the software becomes out of sync. More importantly, Double signing, or the action of signing two blocks at the same block height, is more severely punished by protocol parameters. Double signing can happen when an adversarial validator tries to attack the network or a poorly set up redundant infrastructure leading to one key signing the same block twice. Since we just learned rewards are dependent on validator performance, here are a couple of good questions to consider when choosing a validator. Does your validator have good SLAs? Does your validator have good uptime? Do they promise to make you whole if they get slashed? Do you trust them? Does your validator prioritize security? Is your validator taking a fair amount of rewards for the work they're putting in? These are all good questions to consider when choosing a validator. Here at Figment, we offer secure staking infrastructure with tier three data centers and multi-cloud redundancy across three continents. Along with this, we offer industry-leading SLAs, full reporting, and a focus on governance. Figment is your key to Web3. We help users stake tokens, build applications, and participate in important blockchain governance. We are on a journey to create a truly decentralized internet where users can freely interact, share, collaborate, and exchange goods and services in a trustless environment. This environment is called Web3. We are helping build Web3 in various ways, offering user staking, middleware, and application layer solutions. To learn more about Figment, you can visit our website at figment.io. Links can be found in the description below. All that sounds great, right? But what about our research process? Although we have a rough set of guidelines for choosing which proof of stake protocol to support, 
We know that no two projects are the same. For this reason, we put a heavy emphasis on our research process. At Figment, we consider every project seriously and value it for its own specific merits. With so many staking-based networks launching and so much to learn, we have difficult questions to ask each day. Will we support the network? If so, to what depth should our involvement be? We support proof-of-stake projects from the earliest stages of pre-testnet system design to end-user adoption and everything in between, like running test nets, mainnet launch, governance leadership, community contributions, feedback, education, and that's just to name a few. Figment's goal is to make long-term, high-value contributions and engagements with the projects we select. We assess the business case, team, product, community, and technology. At Figment, we work with custodians like Fiona and Coinbase Custody to help make it easier for token holders to continue staking and participating in network governance, all while keeping your tokens secure with institutional grade partners. Our custodial partners will give you peace of mind by safely and seamlessly securing your tokens in a compliant way while still giving you the ability to generate staking returns. Along with offering top of the line custody, we heavily prioritize security and infrastructure here at Figment. We have built the most advanced blockchain infrastructure by applying 30 plus years of real world experience operating critical internet infrastructure. We offer nodes hosted in North America, Europe, and Asia across five public cloud providers connected to IDC via redundant direct connections and VPN links. Along with this, we help maximize security and minimize risk with private peering interconnection with our trusted validators, hardware security modules to secure private keys and prevent double signing faults, and multi-chain on-premise and off-premise secure server backup and redundancy. On top of our top-of-the-line security, we offer a couple of different services to help users participate in staking in various ways. Hubble from Figment is a next generation Web3 explorer, allowing token holders the ability to stake tokens, manage governance proposals, monitor validator performance, and more. Hubble is a powerful tool in the Web3 world. Along with Hubble, we offer Figment Prime for VC funds, exchanges, custodians, head fund, fiduciaries, and more. Figment Prime is a service to support large token holders and institutions. Prime offers a surplus of features including a proprietary portfolio management dashboard, exportable tax compliant reporting files, industry leading SLAs, volume and time based fee rebates, advanced support, including private 24 7 Telegram and Slack channel support, monthly information calls with our analysts and team, access to our internal due diligence library and tools, and more. If you're interested in learning more about Figment or the services we offer, you can find links in the description down below. I will also include a link to the video walkthrough of the Prime dashboard that goes more into depth on how to use it. As always, if you had any questions regarding staking or want to discuss Figment and the future of crypto, you can join us through the links in the description. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, Happy staking. Uh -huh.